Number 12, how do the rate of a reaction and its rate constant differ? Okay, so we just have to discuss the difference between what a, a reaction rate is or a rate of a reaction and its rate constant. Now, in general, we can find these two variables, a rate constant and the rate of reaction, by looking at a rate law. And a standard rate law, if I just write it out here, right, a standard rate law is this right here. Oh, yeah. And I automatically see that this is not in the middle. <laughs> it's killing me. Okay. So our standard rate law is as follows. The rate of a specific reaction equals a K value times the concentration of the reactants raised to the orders. Now the rate here is the rate of reaction. And the rate constant is known as the K value. So your lowercase k is a rate constant. Now, the idea here is that a rate of reaction always has the same standard units. And the units just depend on what uh, unit you are in, in terms of molarity or pressure, right? ATM. But in general, nine times out of 10, you're going to be using molarity values. So a given rate, or the rate of reaction, is always equal to the change, that's this triangle, right? Anytime that we see a triangle, this just means the word change. So it's always the change in the molarity over the change in time. If we're in the molarity units, it would be molarity over time. Or if you're in uh, pressure units, it would be the change in pressure over a given change in time. So a given rate of reaction is basically just describing how much a concentration or a pressure value is either dropping over a certain amount of time or increasing, depending on if you're talking about a reactant or a product. So in this case, a rate, a rate of reaction is the change I'll do the molarity one. So it's the change of molarity of a substance uh, per a given amount of time. Okay, and instead of saying molarity, you could just change that to pressure. But remember, that just depends on what unit the question is actually in when you do see actual rate values. Now, what is a rate constant? Well, it goes by literally what it means, right? A rate constant is a constant value for a given reaction. So all reactions and the reactions that you'll see in this chapter will have its own unique rate constant. Now, these constant values, these aren't like your R values that you have to memorize, right? The 8.314 or the 0.0821. Um, these constant values will change for different reactions. But if you're in the same question with a given reaction for that whole question, the rate constant will be exactly that. It's going to be constant. They call this the proportionality. Uh-oh. What's my dog doing? <laughs> the mailman must be here. But anyway, proportionality constant, right? And th basically the only thing that is going to change the rate constant is not the concentrations, but the temperature. So a rate constant will only change given different temperatures. But if you're at, you know, the same temperature and you're doing trials and experiments, that K value, the rate constant, is going to be the same regardless of what your concentrations are of your certain reactants. Um, let's see, anything else? Well, we can just say that as we increase the temperature, our rate will increase as well. And so will the rate constant. So these are all direct relationships. 
So as your temperature increases, so will the rate of whatever reaction you're talking about and the rate constant will increase. And now just know that the rate constant, and I'll put it down here, just know that the rate constant is kind of just like a guide. The units for rate constants are always going to be different. That's why I haven't written them down. There is no standard unit for a rate constant because it really depends on how many reactants you have in your rate law. But a rate constant is a general value to tell you how fast or how slow a reaction is actually happening. If you have a you know general high rate constant or a high K value, that means that it's a fast reaction or, you know, faster than all the ones that would have a lower rate constant. But if you have, you know, low values for a rate constant, generally that means that it's going to be relatively slower. But that's basically um, the, the difference between them is that a rate is always just a change in molarity and a change in temperature. So a rate of reaction depends on concentration differences. But as far as the rate constant goes, you can change those concentrations. The constant rate is, you know, the rate constant, that constant value is going to stay the same. The only thing that will change the rate constant is if you increase or decrease the temperature. So a rate constant uh, does not depend, depend, <laughs> depend on uh, concentration values. And I think we've covered it all. Okay, cool. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so, so, so much uh, for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I hope you're having a great day out there. Keep studying hard. And I'm rooting for you on your future tests and quizzes. And I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, have a great day. Bye-bye.